So today we have another interesting video coming up. My trip to the Pangkor Island in Malaysia. It lies just off the west coast of the peninsular Malaysia. Malaysia now, as you know, is a Southeast Asian country occupying parts of Malay Peninsula and the island of Borneo. It's known for its beaches, rainforests, and mix of Malay, Chinese, Indian, and European cultural influences. It's also known for the beaches like Coral Bay, where I was, and Pasir Glam. Now, if you look at the history, it dates back to 1670, when the ruined Dutch fort demonstrates the island's strategic colonial importance. So the, it was occupied by the Dutch East India Company. Near the sacred rock is inscribed with the Dutch East India Company, as you can see, as I show you the symbol and a picture of the tiger carrying away the child. So we had a very good time. We were cruising at different times on the South China Sea. And I'm going to really talk about it because even myself, I didn't know too much about the Ch South China Sea, its boundaries and what it, the countries that border the sea. That will come later. But today we will be talking about uh, something to do with my passion. And you all know what my passion is, the wildlife. Wherever I see wildlife, whether in the form of animals or birds, I'm totally overwhelmed, I'm totally enthralled and excited and enlightened. So, for the first time, I saw a couple of rhinoceros hornbills. These are now quite endangered. And luckily, they were wild and they were in the lawn where I was sitting. People were feeding them, but they were wild. They stayed together, the two of them, and you can see them in the video. And they were absolutely amazing. So what, what makes them so unique is very important. The thing that you notice when you see these hornbills, most probably it's a long curved beak and a bright cusp and enlargement on the top of its beak. The long curved beak, if you look at it closely, is actually very useful for snatching and subduing prey or picking figs and seeds from trees. However, the purpose of the cask or cascu remains contentious. Albite, they are probably used to recognize a mate or augment vocal vocalization since they are hollow or spongy, except the helmeted hornbill. This species has a solid cast, which is also used as a weapon when fighting against rival males. So this was interesting. We spent a very useful time photographing these hornbills. And we will be returning to you with an extensive uh, description of the South China Sea, which we should all know. The extent, the borders, the country that line up around the Ch South China Sea and their historical and strategic importance. Hope you've enjoyed this short video from Pankor in Malaysia. Do subscribe to our channel, leave a note and press the like icon. Thank you.